Hello dear friends and welcome to the Geo Coast. Um, today on this beautiful sunny day I'm meeting Professor John Sweeney who is a geographer and spent most of his life studying climate. Hello John. Hello Maxim. How are you? So um, I think first I'll let you say whatever there you want are. to say like, okay. and then we go through questions. Right. And because we don't have a cameraman I'm gonna go behind the camera and film you talking. Okay. Well, we're located here in the back garden of a house behind me here, which uh, of course no longer exists. Uh, you can see the way in which the, the house has been largely destroyed by coastal erosion here. We're on a very soft coastline in County Wexford, which is mostly sandy, um, and attempts have been made to reinforce that coastline with, with rock armour. And it's a very appropriate location I think to talk about climate change and to talk about the problems of coastal management uh, because um, here we see the effects of both rising sea level and changing storms um, telescoped onto uh, a really soft coast where here we're looking at a coast which is retreating probably by a number of meters every year um, out from us here in the sea there are probably the remains of houses and the remains of roads which existed in medieval times which have now long since disappeared. And of course the coast here um, is very symptomatic of uh, what we might face at a larger scale in coming decades as climate changes and as sea level rises. Um, we expect sea level to rise by about one metre over the course of the next 80 years. It may well be more rather than less. And that changes the balance between coastal processes which might be um, encouraging deposition to those which encourage erosion and enhanced erosion, as you can see around us here. The effect, of course, is to make us question what we should do about the future in terms of managing coastlines. And obviously for a coastline here, like this, um, there's very little we can do that's cost beneficial. To protect a coast here, you would be probably spending almost as much per, mile, per kilometre as you would on, uh, say, a motorway. And so I think we have to let nature take its course here uh, and allow the sea to reclaim the land as it is at the moment doing that. But if we move to our towns and cities, of course, we have uh, very much more exposure to um, problems of, of coastal erosion and sea level rise, where there's a lot of money and a lot of infrastructure at risk. And there we have to start thinking about protection and we have to start thinking about adaptation in a much more serious manner. And, and so, you know, we may have to look to spend a lot of money if we want to protect places like Cork, places like Dublin, places like Limerick from future coastal erosion. So that it, it's, a, it's a place where I think this lovely setting here on a sunny day uh, exemplifies the decisions that society will have to make in the future. Um, decisions about how much taxpayers' money should be spent on protecting an individual house or two or protecting towns and cities. Uh, and of course it raises the other question of the credibility of adapting to uh, sea level rise and climate change if we're not at the same time pulling our weight in terms of reducing our own contribution to the problem in terms of our own uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So uh, there are two sides to the problem of climate change at the coast. One is uh, vulnerability, which we see around us here, adaptation, which perhaps this bit of rock armour you can see here is a, is a small example of, uh, but also uh, the question of, of economics, the question of viability, and ultimately the question of playing our part in trying to slow down the problem for the years ahead so that the legacy we leave behind to the generation that comes after us is a legacy of, of a coast here which um, is not necessarily completely ravaged and destroyed and where houses that have been built 20 years ago have disappeared, uh, but rather one where we can have a sustainable uh, way of life for the future. Mm -hmm.